Warm greetings from the high 10. It is Everyday Shenanigans on this Tuesday, March 24th, 2020. I hope you guys are staying warm out there and staying um, stress-free and corona-free. Seriously, I, I'm praying for all of you out there. I want to bring you a story out of West Tennessee. And if you need verification for the storyline, please log on to WVLT8 News. Tennessee couple found dead in home. Granddaughter charged. Authorities say a Tennessee couple found dead in their home had been killed by their granddaughter. The Tennessee Bureau of Investigation says 28-year-old Caitlin Taylor was charged Monday with two counts of criminal homicide and booked into the Benton County Jail. Her bond was set at $500,000. The Jackson Sun reports officers went to the couple's home on Monday morning after they received a call that a resident of the house had not shown up for work. The TBI says officers found Taylor's grandparents dead inside their camera home during a welfare check. They were identified as 82-year-old Eugene McDaniel and 67-year-old Celeste McDaniel. It's unclear how they died. And that is the said information uh, for this storyline. Um, and as you see, this is a 28-year-old female Caitlin Taylor, charged with the death of her grandparents and her bond is set at $500,000. Now, for my commentary. Was this, um, well, let me first give a bit about the location. It says Camden, Tennessee. Did a little Google search. And Camden, Tennessee is an hour and 33 minutes from Nashville, Tennessee, and two hours and 14 minutes from Memphis. So Camden is in between Nashville and Memphis, Tennessee. I don't think she should have had a bond for murdering both her grandparents. My question is, did she live with her grandparents? Um, whose parents were they? Her fathers, her mothers. I noticed an age difference between the, the male and the female grandparents. So which one is her grandparents biologically? The man or the male, perhaps. He, you know, married a younger woman. And they're both her actual biological parents. But I'm just throwing out, you know, scenarios for this situation. Um... As I stated, did she live with the these grandparents? Was this a robbery attempt? Did she murder them for robbery? I'm just throwing out different scenarios out here, okay, you guys? Because this is a baffling story mm -hmm. of an elderly man, 82 years old, and the grandmother, 67. Both found deceased because one of them did not show up to work. I'm going to bet on the latter that the 67-year-old was the one still working in this home and did not show up for work. They did not state a matter of death. Uh, where are her parents? Where are the parents of this 28-year-old? Because now we have to wonder if she was living with these elderly people. Was she visiting them? And as I state, did she go there for some other mischievous reasons? And that was her reason and motive for murdering them. When you look at the profile of this crazy nut, she is smiling in her mugshot. So one would say, well, she must be crazy because she's smiling. Or could it be she was glad to get her photo taken and or getting her five minutes of fame? Because, you know, we do have people out there that commit crimes and are glad to get their photo taken. Sad to say. This is a sick tale. A very sick sick and baffling tale. I brought you a crazy story last night deriving outside of Knoxville, now Alcoa, Tennessee, of a male uh, attempting to harm his girlfriend, mow her down with a car, and she ran for safety into a house. I don't know if she knew the victims in that house, but he ended up killing those victims. Now, today, I bring you a storyline in the state of Tennessee of a Caucasian female who has murdered her grandparents. And they didn't give much information as far as her living there situation. I guess it'll be a while, you know, a couple of days before we get to said information about uh, if she lived there or not. But nonetheless, it is heinous. This was a heinous crime, two crimes, because she murdered two individuals. And you are thinking what I'm thinking, if you have any sense about yourself, what would lead this female to murder her grandparents? And then had the nerve, had the nerve, the audacity 
to smile in her mugshot as if she's on Facebook, Instagram, quit playing. No, boo-boo, you're not on Instagram or Facebook. You in jail where you should be. And if they could rearrest her two times for killing this, you know, two people, hey, by all means, do what you got to do. She should not have a bond. And I'm going to wonder if anyone bonds her out and she has some also oh sympathetic parents that might want to bond her out. Is she loco crazy? Well, one could say she's crazy because she just killed two elderly people. One could say, well, they could have been mean to her, nasty to her. Maybe they were rude to her. Well, let's just say for the record, they were nasty. She was living with them. They weren't the best people. Because, you know, you all bring up all type of scenarios in the comment section. So I'm going to cover all of that. Get your own place. See, that's the joy of being an adult. You can do what you want. Live how you want, and there's nobody to complain inside that domain. Maybe outside, you're keeping up too much noise, you're too loud, but inside, where you pay the bills and your name is on the lease and the deed, you can do whatever you want. So one has to wonder, was she living with these elderly people? And if so, what in the hell happened in that house that she felt need to kill? Not one, but two people. Very sad situation coming out of West Tennessee. Very sad and tragic. And um, <laughs> I'm just amazed, as I state, in a turbulent time that we are in right now in this country and abroad, that mayhem, mischief does not stop. People still commit devious crimes despite the chance of getting something in their throat and their lungs that could kill them. They don't even care because that's the point, isn't it? They don't care. So it doesn't matter that we have a viral disease floating around. Don't know how this world is going to end up in the next couple of months. I don't like you. I don't care nothing about you. So I'm going to knock you off despite getting a deadly disease. Maybe she'll be lucky to catch corona herself. Yeah, I'm saying it. I was going to say that last night about the case I was talking about last night. And perhaps this crazy nut, she's related to Megan Boswell. Maybe they're cousins. Tennessee's got a thing right now knocking folks off and babies. Yeah, I know they do it everywhere else, but I'm talking about Tennessee right now. Crazy, dark-haired females. One's killing a baby and one's killing hmm, two elderly people. Lord have mercy. Maybe there's something in the water system. We might need to call TVA and have a talk with them about our water because it ain't looking too good. I will bring you an update to this story, but this is sad. This is very sad. And my condolences and prayers to this family, uh, this two elderly uh, people who were murdered by the said grandchild. Like, share, subscribe. Please drop your comments below. Thanks for joining me. I want you all to stay warm and stay safe out there. Please keep up your hygiene. Wash your hands after coming and going in and out of public places, after using the restroom, even in your own home. Do it anyway. Stay safe out there, America. And I thank you all for watching and listening and tuning in. God bless all of you. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.